What's up guys, it's Werther. I wanted to talk to you guys today about uh, one of the methods that I use when I'm instructing my students. So, um, you know, it's called the Socratic method. It's a very old method, obviously it goes back to Socrates. And the idea is you have a dialogue with the people that are around you in an attempt to achieve truth. Now, you as the instructor are, are obviously in the position of leading the dialogue. So, when I show techniques, for instance, you know, I always take questions. I, see, I ask if anyone wants to see it again, if anyone has questions on the technique, you know, and I'll take arguments from my students if they think like, well, what if the person does this? You know, would they be able to counter what you're showing? You know, or, you know, I don't think that would work for this reason. I actually don't, uh, I actually don't mind those types of questions as long as they're respectfully given, you know, um, because most of the time, you know, my knowledge is much greater than my students in my beginner level classes. You know, I'm going to basically show them why um, what they're saying wouldn't work, you know, or why it's not an, why what, why their proposed counter is not an issue. Uh, that being said, by just by them asking that question and me showing why that counter is not useful or what they think might happen is not what will actually happen, that enhances learning for everybody else that's present, you know, because it's something that I wouldn't otherwise have shown because I may not have thought to show that. So just by asking a question that your instructor can easily answer, that actually does enhance the learning for everybody else. Uh, and in the rare case that, you know, someone proposes something that legitimately does put a stop, it puts a block on what I'm trying to do and what I'm trying to show, well, that's an opportunity for learning too because now I can go back and see, okay, how do I address this point of failure that the student brought up and how do I fix it? Or do I just discard this move entirely in favor of something else? So these are important things that you want to bring up and modify what you're teaching to make it better. So I like, I like that methodology quite a bit. You know, it's, a, it's argumentative, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a dialogue between two people that are trying to come to the truth, but you know, you're disagreeing with each other or you're trying to find, you know, in the jujitsu context, you're trying to find points of failure in the technique that someone else is being, is showing so that you can make it better, right? So like if I'm with some other high level guys and we're discussing, you know, an entry that we saw that we want to work on, you know, we'll, we'll learn the entry first, you know, and then we will try to figure out why it won't work, right? So. I'll be like, well, what if the person does this, you know, and we'll try to address that counter. And, you know, sometimes that counter will be ineffective. Sometimes it will be effective. If the counter is effective, then you go, okay, how do I address that counter, right? So you're making the move more intricate. Uh, you're creating more pathways of when to have certain reactions. And that's obviously going to make your application of the technique significantly better if you go through this process and you address you know, uh, how people are going to resist it and what they're going to attempt to do. So this kind of form of cooperative argument, you know, to, you know, improve your techniques or, you know, in general, just kind of find the truth is very useful in jujitsu. And I like to use it often when I'm trying to make my techniques better. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys can try this methodology out with your training partners and uh, you know, see if it helps you, see if it helps you kind of workshop what you're doing and make it a little bit better. So if you liked what I said, then make sure you like the video. If you have a comment because you want to expand on something or you disagree on something with something that I said, make sure you drop a comment and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you click the notification bell so you guys get notified when we have new videos out. All this stuff really does help us. So I appreciate your support and I hope you guys have a great day.